Hello and welcome to 2 Minute Design, I'm Dage and today we're gonna have a look at ways to duplicate or copy smart objects. If you don't know what a smart object is, go ahead and watch my video called Smart Objects, the link is in the description. So, let's say you have this button as a smart object and you want to create another button here. So you activate it from the layers panel and hit Ctrl J or Command J. Now you have two smart objects, so you can move the one on top. But then you decide that you want to change their color. You want them to be red buttons. To do that, double click on the thumbnail of the smart object. It doesn't matter which one. Change the color of the button. Save the file and close it. Since these two smart objects are duplicates, they both turn red. Just like my face when I'm filming. I will undo that. Now let's say you want to create a third button, but you want that smart object to be independent of the other two. Well, right click on one of the smart objects and choose a new smart object via copy. This will create a new copy of that smart object. I'll move it over here, double click its thumbnail, change its color, save and close the file, and here it is. It's not affecting the other two smart objects because it's independent. And I found that copying the smart object using Ctrl or Command C and pasting using Ctrl or Command V in Photoshop CC 2018 does the same thing. Now, using smart objects and other Photoshop tools and features, I was able to create this fully editable layout of elevator buttons. If you take a look at the layers panel, you can easily change the background color, the text on the buttons, the text color, etc. But what's interesting is this smart object over here called button shape. It is actually invisible. You can see the opacity is set to 0% and it's located outside the canvas. So why on earth is it there in the layers panel? If you double click its thumbnail, you can see that it includes two shapes, circle and square. Let's hide the circle and activate the square. Save and close the file. And now all buttons are squares instead of circles. Cool, isn't it? Well, I'm glad to announce that you can now buy and download this PSD file from the new 2-Minute Design store. I will talk about this store in another video, but you can check it out now by following the link in the description.